This is going to be a very, very um, precise tutorial in as much as the Cardano system works with cinematics. Um, we're just going to be walking around, doing a quick walk around to see everything in as much as um, the system is concerned. These are some of the assets that I recommended for you. Um, if you want to enjoy it more, you might just want to go ahead and dive into the, the store and check that out. It's, it's all on the uh, on the marketplace, we have new assets that are compatible with this, and all of that um, is a car dyno system. It's a car maker, which means that you can kick any mesh, be it static or skeletal, and just convert it into like you know, we're gone past the hour of you know, blueprints and all of that. So, to begin with, we're just gonna go on into our plugins and make sure that uh, we have our, our Chaos plugin, uh, a couple of plugins that we need to make sure they're activated, so just search for Chaos. And right here we have the Chaos plugin, you want to make sure that this is checked on because it's very important for this uh, system to work. Secondly, you want to go ahead and look for the Tick Recorder, Tick Recorder it's also very, very important. Um, you click that and uh, it's going to ask you for a restart. You know, so just I'm gonna bring down the window a little bit down so we can all see clearly. And just go here and click a restart. It's going to ask you to save whatever thing you've done. So I just, you know, and restart it. So we're back and uh, I just restarted the whole thing and then we're back. So in here we have some volumes. If you can look here, there are some. Um, some blocking volumes that are involved in it so if we, if we go into our cinematics first of all you go here you see that the tech recorder is already up and running and uh, so i will now go ahead and bring the tech recorder right here and then i'll obviously jump into um i'll jump into my outliner when i'm i'm just gonna bring that pull that around so this is my content browser i'll shift the tech recorder a little bit to the right and I pull my outliner. This is my outliner. So inside the outliner, I'm going to hold the dyno a blueprint and drag that into my tick recorder. Inside my tick recorder, um, it's armed and ready to be recorded. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, I will press the. Uh, I just clear this off, and I will go ahead and press the play button. You can see the cards up and running. So press the play button right there. And it's just to play, but now this is the catch. But inside here, I'm going to press the record as well. Record it counts three, two, one, and action. So, right now, see my car cannot move forward. See, it's actually recording that's a recording right there. It's recording, so but I cannot move forward and back because there were some blocking volumes that were involved in it, so I can't move forward and backward. So I just did this intentionally just so that you know when you open a project file you should not get confused about oh why is this not happening. So I will go back inside of my outliner and then I will look for the for all those blocking volumes and I'm gonna clear them out. So press G to open the game mode. They go now into my outliner. I'm gonna select all of these blocking volumes. I will just carry them up. You know, I mean, I know there's some there's another way of doing it. Press the X button, but I'll just just carry them up just so that they, they don't be on our way. And then now we're going to go in now and do the proper recording. This is super interesting and super fun. So just watch that as we do it. So I'm going to go ahead now and clear off the things into game mode. Press my play button. This is Plexus uh, Motor Spot. Then I'll go into my recording now. Boom. Now once I start recording, the countdown starts. Take a look at the sequence. So right down here, you see how it's recorded everything that's happening with the vehicle. So I'll go ahead and start driving right now. I'm driving. So right now, every every move that I'm making is being recorded. Um, then this is how the cinematic properties of this vehicle, how amazing they look. Um, you can do every kind of drive. You go reverse, go front. Now we're going to get into the morphing. So this is where the interesting part of this whole thing comes into play. So we have the um, this wheels. We have... I'm going to go ahead and jake up the front wheels. See how it's morphing? You can change it to make it be as big as you can. Um, the wheels are looking really big and mighty. So right now I'm going to go ahead and drive on the, on, on this, um, this suspension testing ground. See how it looks. it looks. So it looks so good and so balanced. I've had a chance to work with a couple of the systems. But the thing is, it, they don't really support cinematic. So I'm just going to go ahead and scale this up. 
and so large. I know this doesn't look right in any way, but this is just to show you that the cinematic properties, so it's, it kind of supports the entire morphing system of this vehicle. Um, so I'm just going to drive ahead of all of those things and just jump in. I know this looks crazy, but just bear with me. And uh, see, I'll come here and stop and go back to the wheel setting. I'll drop that down again to 25. The second one as well goes down to 25. The vehicle goes back to normal. So um, you see, it can still drive. And all of this has been recorded in the cinematics. Permit me, I mean, I'm a bad driver, but I know. So this all records still in cinematics. So you can you can just play with this whole thing. And it's so amazing. So I will just spin around and show you guys some more, excuse me, some other options, you know. Um, you can check the engine. The engine have different different adjustments that you can make from drag to differential engine horizontal or, or horizontal location and everything. You can just just do a lot. It's a cool thing inside of the wheels. I'm gonna just go back and bring this back up to like what 34, 30 some. That looks right in my eyes, you know. Um, and uh, besides that, you can as well, you know, do a lot with the the wheel offset. The, the wheel tilting, the wheel graph, and all of that. So just watch. Uh, now, so this is the right wheel. Oh, sorry, the left wheel offset. See, I can push that out. So depending on the size of your mesh, you just can go ahead and you can open the wheels as wide as you want them. And bear in mind that this is also going to affect the vehicle's uh, physics in as much as stability and all of that is concerned. So I'm going to go ahead and show you how, look at the wheels, you can tilt the wheels, both of them, and every single property that we are touching right now is being affected and recorded in the, in the, in the cinematic. So um, that's how cool it is. You can also change the location of the front wheel. If you have a longer mesh, like a truck, a trailer, you know, a bulldozer, you can just go ahead and switch these wheels and make them fit very, very rightly on the different spots. And... The steering um, um, angle, you can go look at that right now, it's on 60, but if I shift it all the way to zero right now, I'm pressing the steering button, it's not working. If I take it all the way to 80, look at that. It's kind of, this is just too weird. Like, no vehicle works like that. So, I'll go back and put that on 57. Uh, no, 60 looks right. Just, just looks just right. So, yeah, pretty much that's that's how, those, those are just, just some of the few um, settings that we are just trying to show you all now, but we're bringing a lot more of these, you know, in as much as the recording properties are concerned. So, look into the sequencer right now. This is still a take record that was still recording, so I'm going to go ahead and stop that. Now, it's where the trick, the tricky part of it sets in. So, I'll just go back to my vehicle, which is all the way over here, right? Now, what we want to do now is we want to be able to play back everything that we just did and see how it's been recorded, right? How it was recorded. So this is the sequence. So I first of all go in here. This is very important. Very, very important. You have to go into the the prop the, the mesh actual mesh of it, you know. Go and look for where it says simulate physics. Please, you have to turn this off. If not, it's not gonna work. So because the mesh has has physics on it. And then it has been recorded. You cannot let a physics play on top of another physics. So you have to turn that off. Then we're going to go ahead and create our new sequencer right here. Just create a new level sequencer. And uh, go ahead and um, just drag that in here. And I need to find a better place to dock this just so that we have um, a good view of it. So my sequencer is right here. I'm going to go ahead and just bring this down a little bit. Um, you know what I mean? Just probably, probably I should just dock it. Just look for a spot and bring this up and drag this away. I'm just trying to bring. Hold on. So first of all, let me bring. This is where what was recorded, right? It was saved inside of the cinematics. So if you go into inside of your text, you're gonna drag this right here and put it inside of your sequencer. Everything you see here now is what was recorded. I'll just bring it down, open, you know, just open the range all the way to the end of it. Um, which kind of look, you know, it's this is pretty much self explicit So, um, but I want this to stay. So um, I'll just bring press this and press the space bar, then drag this and just dock this into yep right here. So this it looks cool right now, all right? It looks, it looks okay. So at this point, I will go ahead and play it so you can see what happened, right? So I play that, look at what happened. 
So that is what was recorded. And it what the, 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 the very cool feature with this product is it records the time marks, records the, you know, it's just like everything that you did has been recorded, you know. And um, at this point, we can go ahead and then go ahead and also open the, the, this, the recorded mesh, go into its physics, and also uncheck the simulate physics. If you don't do this, when, you, when it comes to rendering time, you will see some crazy things that were going to be happening. So you, you might want to uncheck physics, physics and all of them, both meshes, just so you don't have an error. So if I play that, you look at that, it's, it's actually playing and going. That's just what we, we recorded. So this is just a playback of it. It's a, it has been recorded and, and saved all the data and everything has just been saved in the right position and in the right spot. So we're going to go back. And uh, at this point, I think we will be looking for my cool car, you know. So that looks like one of those cars that we used to see them in the Night Riders back in the 90s stuff. Cool car, right? Yep. So check this out. This is the morphing. Remember the morphing that we did see? The morphing was actually recorded. Look at the wheels. The wheels actually went up and looking like big, you know. So most other systems that do have this morph, this morphing systems and all of that, when you play that, when you bring them in playback, it doesn't really record the playback system. The, the morphings are not being recorded in playback. So let's just go back and do some very and extremely basic camera work. Again, this is going to be as basic as possible. So um, this preview window, yes, so a lot of people really find this to be annoying. So to, to, to get rid of this big window, just go into your editor's preference, go into the all settings, type for camera preview. Just type camera preview. You're gonna see it's right down here. Squeeze that down to one. I mean, we don't we don't really need that, do we? So it's all it's still there, but it's all the way down. So right now you have enough space for for working. So um, pretty much just go squeeze this guy down a little bit more. And here we will go ahead and uh, go here and just create a camera. No, 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 here. Let's go right here. We'll go to um, create a camera. Yes, any camera actor. And then instead of our ally now, just drag that camera and drop it inside of this, the, level, this, the sequencer. So at this point, I'm flying the camera, all right? One very important thing that you don't want to forget if you just want to make it work easy for your side, for, your, for, your, for yourself, is by going into your sequencer, right? Um, you will see there's this little button. One second. So where's the button? So what? Well, I just let me for some make sure. Yeah, right, right here. This button. You want to make sure that this button is, is you know, is clicked, is highlighted. So much so that you don't have to be coming back and clicking each time you make a move. You have to come back and click. It's just going to auto-create a key. Keyframes are going to be automatically created each time there is a change on the timeline. Right now, I'm going to move the camera. Watch how it's going to create a frame. Watch how it just created a new frame. See that? And I'm going to pr press play again. So you just created a new a new frame. I'm gonna press play again. The car moves to a different position. I'm just gonna fly the camera to that spot. I don't need to go and click on the on the on the the, sec, the, the transform section to create a key. It automatically creates a key. Um, now just go play it in front again. I'm gonna drive the camera all the way to that spot. A key has been created automatically again. Um, so that's how we just keep going forward and forward. So drive it to the other spot, and uh, the key has been created as well. Just gonna come down here. We all look at that. It's looking real cool. Um, drive it forward. Already oh, makes the the turn and stop. This is where the morphing actually occurs. I'm gonna switch my camera to this other spot right here, and uh, play, press play. It rolls. Um, just push it all the way forward where the car, the whole thing. Look at that. The morphing is it's looking really cool. I'm gonna push my my timeline to this spot. Fly the camera over here as well. Um, bring that to the next spot. This is where we we'll actually change this. We we'll morph the wheel to the crazy size. Um, again, this this you don't want to morph your wheel to this big size. You know, it's just this we just do this just to show that this can support. The morphing supports cinematics in every way and form, you know. So while it drives out, um, I'm going to move my camera to the next spot again, just so we can create a key. We're trying to make sure that our our our, our subject stays into picture, you know. So I'm going to push that out. 
out and out and about and all the way to this point I think that it's actually let's go down a little bit more um yep that looks right so I just brought all of that down and it's it's looking so cool so pretty much so if I go back and press play now you see what's happening the camera is just is just being you know or, or it's just following all the keyframes uh, that were created so this is how you get into creating um, cinematic scenes with this vehicle so see at this point the camera is gradually dulling and going over but it's kind of going out of shot so what I want to do is I want to bring it back here this press play again it's still going out of shot is because of this last keyframe that I created over here so I want us to actually have a look at the morphing you know which is very important and then go back it's still dragging out of picture so just bring that here and then go down change just change the camera position it's gonna just automatically create adjust that keyframe that was there so the press play is going all the way out just to bring that back to the spot you know so pretty much uh, we're just trying to keep the camera on us look at that so that, that's that's just, that's just a very cool playback it looks these things look just nice so at this point um we'll spin the camera back to this wheel because we actually want to see the vehicle in full you know so i think if i go back and play it from the previous frame just play from here and see how see what happens the vehicle is going to morph itself the morph you know morph itself but the wheels are getting big or big and it comes to the back where it gets bigger and bigger this is going to be so cool for some of those um, you know action sequences that we we always like to create here at BCS Prince Concerts this so see look at that nice nice this is a nice tracking side shot so when it comes to this part where we actually did the crazy morphing so look at that it's going to go down to the vehicle the vehicle is going to morph the crazy wheels again like I said earlier you don't want to do this except you really have a, an intentional uh, uh, you know storyboard that you're trying to catch and look at that it's just tracking the camera as well on the side tracking the camera on the side and kind of comes all the way to this point right here where um it stopped and it's gonna go down well i will not go ahead and play the entire thing you know how you, the, the entire the entire morphing that we, we did earlier with split the waves and all of that but just to let you know this all has been recorded anything that you do when you had your tape recorder running it has been recorded and if you play do your playback it's gonna be looking all good so thank you um, again for joining on this 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 quick tutorial again um, just hop on hop onto the con the marketplace and just grab this content it's, it's uh, I'm 100 percent sure that you're gonna like it excuse my mic if my mic was not looking right uh, no if my mic was not sounding right I was trying to make sure that I get the information across and thank you so much